it turns out there's a little region around this clock edge, and I'm going to draw with these dashed lines. And that's called the restrictor region around the clock edge, okay? And sometimes I'll just fill this in like this. So that is the, we'll call it the, Restricted region. And we don't want the D input to change in that region. When the D input changes in this region, we don't know what's going to happen to the output. So in this case, the D changed before the restricted region. So if I uh, if I look at the way the flip-flop works, the flip-flop samples on the clock edge, right? It will sample the value in the restricted region. And in this case, it's high the whole time. And so Q was unknown until that clock edge happened, right? It was X is here. And then it's going to go high here. X, all X, then it goes high. Because I sampled there, so it drove it high. So first timing parameter, which is really easy, is this parameter right here. This parameter from here to here, that's from clock going high until the Q output changes. That is T C H Q V. That's the output delay. That's this one right here. Very straightforward. That's not very complicated. <clears throat> the other two parameters, the setup and hold time, are defined by this restrictor region. So if we were to draw them, what do you look at or whatever, but we're going to call it TCHQV, which means from clock going high to Q valid, okay? So those are the three important timing parameters that we need to deal with. Um, so first, we're going to look at this. Draw them. Let's make a, extend a line here. This, from the front edge of the restricted region to the clock, that's called T setup. And from the clock to, the, to the, the trailing edge of the restricted region, that's T hold. So if T setup equals, since you guys are the picos generation, I'll say 100 picoseconds. Let's say T setup is 100 pico. That means that this setup, this edge here, the, fr the front edge of the restrictor region, happens 100 picoseconds before the clock edge. And if T hold equals 50 picoseconds, we'd say, plus 50 picoseconds, then the trailing edge happens 50 picoseconds after the clock edge. And by the way, yeah, these numbers are, this is probably an exaggeration. If, I, if you were to make a real modern flip-flop, uh, practical numbers would be, huh, set up would be like uh, five pico, something like that. Hold might be, well, We'll talk about that in a sec. What is hold? But you know, setup time, TCHQV would be like maybe 10 people. These things happen really fast, okay? Why is it called the uh, restricted region? What's it called, the restricted region? Why is it called that? Yeah, like what is it exactly meaning for me? Right what that? it means is we don't want the D to change in this region. If the D changes in this region, we don't know what the output's going to happen, what's going to happen to the output. Okay, it's undefined. <clears throat> So what it means is don't change a D in there. That's why it's restricted. You should. And okay. we'll see later on, this relates to asynchronous circuits. So all of this stuff, is, it, is this new or uh, just a review? Yeah, this is this is starting to um, become new. So just if I may ask, so, okay, I get the T change, 
That's the difference between the change of the clock and effectively when the output changes on Q. Yeah. Uh, I get the T setup. That's the minimum limited time uh, between sort of when... It's when you have to have the D input stop changing. Yeah, before. stable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what's T hold again? T hold says, you know what? You, you get this set up. This D is not changing before this time, but keep it. Don't change it until after this hold. So, you know, mm -hmm. if I were to draw this, it's just uh, like this could change back here. And that's fine. And that's fine because it was after the hold time. But if I changed before that hold time, the end of that restricted region, that wouldn't be fine. I'd get some weird stuff happening. So this okay, is okay. okay I see. Uh, so and that can be like, don't like, change like, it in here. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. Okay. Now that was the easy part. Now I'm going to explain. Professor? Oh, yeah. So if, can I summarize? Can I summarize the T set of time as the time before the clock that D can't change to get a defined output? Yeah, when it becomes stable, it's not changing anymore. So it's a stable D uh, uh, waveform? Yep. You notice in this red region, D is not changing. It changed before and it changed after. That's okay. But if D changed, let's say, uh, let's say D went like this. That would not be okay. I wouldn't, this would be unknown. I wouldn't know what, what happened here because D changed inside this region. It, it could go, oh, it turns out <clears throat> if I did something like that, the, uh, there's three possibilities. One is the output goes high. Possibility two is the output goes low. Possibility three is it goes metastable for a while. Meta, you know, like, it goes, uh, what's his name, Merck? <laughs> Zuckerberg. 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 <laughs> Go Zuckerberg on us. <laughs> That's this. This sucks. <laughs> okay. This really sucks because we don't, what happens there, this kind of stays in the middle for a while and we don't know what it's going to, then it eventually goes high or low, but we don't know. <clears throat> this really sucks, okay? Okay, so that's the easy part. Now we're gonna do the hard part. Oh, <clears throat> so before I go that, by definition, oh, first off is the setup time always happens before the whole time. They never, they never get reversed. And by definition, a positive number for setup means the time before the clock edge and a positive number for hold time means after the clock edge, okay? For the whole time, they never they never get reversed, and by definition, a positive number for setup means the time before the clock edge, and a positive number for hold time means after the clock edge. Okay. Um. So let's draw this waveform now again. Here's our foot plot. And here was our D input. <clears throat> and here was our clock. And here's our cube. Now, <clears throat> uh, so it turns out in modern flip-flops, this looks fine. The setup region is like this. But if you look at a modern flip-flop, this whole region is actually like this. It's really and truly looks like this. 
This is our restrictor region. The error region. And what does this mean? This means we have a setup time that's positive. That's fine. We usually isn't at total. So ID, the T hold and the TCHQ are always the same. No, T hold and TCHQV are not the same. They're all different numbers, right? Like uh, if I go back here, this could have been uh, like eight Pico. Yeah. 